and pump jack they say there is a whole incubator in there all that's left to do is collect some tungsten and finish building the helicopter are they trolling us are they actually trolling us? I don't get it. Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarik, and welcome back to Last Generation Survival. So finally, the new event is here. Follow the Easter Bunny event has begun. It looks like we'll have to collect Easter eggs and then we'll be able to get some rewards such as grenade launchers and tactical backpacks. To begin this egg hunt event, it looks like we gotta go back home. So let's do it. Let's see how good is this event. Ready for the hunt. Okay, there are lots of them here. I hid eggs all across the wasteland. Hurry up to find them and tell the others. And I just basically eavesdropped on the conversation. Hey, join the egg hunt. First, look in the motel. There's definitely a couple in there. Okay, so we gotta go to the motel. Now, when I click on the motel, it says that here we can get this Easter egg. You can't eat it, but you can exchange it for rewards from the bunny. And I've already opened the store and it looks like in this store, we'll be able to get these bunnies presents. So I guess we'll be able to get one random present. It also says that 50th and 100th opening, you'll get a guaranteed mannequin. So I guess that's cool. But hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see how difficult or how easy it is to get these eggs. So we can get three eggs from the motel. Do these eggs reset? I guess so. We'll see that. Let's deal with a couple of these roaming zombies and let's find those eggs. Maybe I have to clear the entire motel to find those eggs. Are these eggs all the time in different spots? There we go. I can see some eggs here. Wait, I want to get them. That's it. That was one egg. There's some sort of a note here. So what do we know about the eggs? Alpha, there's about nine in there. But before going there, we should cook some stew. In Bravo, around 12. At Port, a bit more than in Bravo. But it's better to head straight to the lab. Factory, we counted three eggs and a couple of floater bloaters. And Pump Jack, they say there is a whole incubator in there. All that's left to do is collect some tungsten and finish building the helicopter. Are they trolling us? Are they actually trolling us? I don't get it. Why are they speaking about the tungsten and the helicopter? I am a little bit confused. Is that a sneak peek? Is that like some sort of a teaser that, hey, you know what? Helicopter is coming out and the tungsten is coming out. I don't get it. Why do the devs have to do this? Why do they have to reignite the hope? Or are they just toying with us? Because, hey, I'd like the helicopter. <laughs> I'd like something new. I did not expect to see this. I'm not gonna lie. I was already ready to say that, hey, this event is like, okay, it's not nice little event to get some loot but you know what they spoke about tungsten they spoke about the helicopter and you know what that is enough we don't really need anything else but I, all jokes aside hopefully maybe we are gonna get that pump jack when i read about the pump jack i thought yeah they're just toying with us and then they mentioned the tungsten and the helicopter but hey we've gotten the first clue to finish the helicopter it looks like we need to get tungsten i'm just gonna assume that that note had nothing to do with the actual helicopter that it was just a joke but hey, we can only hope. Maybe we'll find here some more notes. I'm glad that I read that note. Maybe there will be more notes talking about Bunker Charlie's or something else. And let me know in the comments down below. Did you get your eggs in the same spots as me? So did you get that egg at the entrance? Do eggs reset? I guess we'll figure that out because now we can reset locations with rations. So I'm going to reset the location and we'll see what happens later. Okay, we'll probably have to loot everything. Luckily, I do have a couple of hatchets in the inbox, so let's get at least two of them. Again, you don't need to use level two hatchets. Level one hatchets are better. So when you go to the motel, make sure to get those level one hatchets. There we go. There's one egg, so we absolutely have to come here. Let's get this second. Wait, can I get those eggs? Because I got attacked by those fast biters and roaming zombies. Now let's get more eggs. So I can say that this event is already a little bit better than the Leprechaun's Lock event. The Leprechaun's Lock event didn't really have a lot of content. And it doesn't really seem like this event has a lot of new content, but it's at least something. It's a little bit too early to judge this event, but according to these rewards here, it looks like we can get some decent stuff and it looks like two eggs guarantee you one box. Okay, so soon we'll be able to open it up. Soon we'll be able to see what's up, but I just need to get one more egg from the motel. Then I'm gonna reset this motel and then we'll figure out more things. Can I open this up? Yep, and there we go. There's the third egg. So that's it. That's the last egg. It's also cool that it says how many eggs you can find in certain locations. Interesting. There we go. There's the third egg. And now we got to go back home. Let's do it. Now let's talk to the bunny. Let's see what they say here. Good job. You found them. Let's exchange them for rewards. Claim the rewards from bunny. Okay. So it says three eggs for one box, but I could have exchanged two eggs for one box. Oh, it says so one box for two eggs. Okay, cool. Let's exchange that. And now we can open our first box, I guess. There we go. Let's open it up. Let's see what we're going to get here. 
So we've gotten the Raider's Battle Helmet. Plus we've gotten five extra carrots. Huh. So that's what we've gotten. Can I talk to this dude? Okay, so there's nothing else we can do here. These boxes are pretty expensive. So two eggs are over $2. So one egg is about $1. So every time you find an egg, think of it as $1. <laughs> I don't know. So now we can get things everywhere. Check this out. Bunker Bravo says that it has eggs. The port location has eggs. But before we check out those other locations, let's see what happens when we refresh the motel. So now we know where to get those eggs at the motel, but let's see if these eggs reset or not. So maybe we will be getting eggs at different spots. Maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, so it looks like the egg is still here. I did bring here some guns just to speed some things up. We've got an, another egg here or another dollar. You could think of it as another dollar. And that's it, the dude is gone. So if you did not read that note when you came here for the first time, that's it, the note just disappears. Interesting. So I found the second egg up here. No, this time it's not here. The egg moved. I'm pretty sure last time I found the egg here. Maybe I need to open up this door and the egg will be in this other room. Nope. Oh, I see. I've opened the door and I see the egg is going to be there in the other room. So we got to go through here. We can open that up. So the eggs do move. The eggs do change their locations. But I think you get the same amount of eggs. So the motel will have three eggs. So they do change their locations. But I think you get the same amount. There we go. There's the third egg. Or as I say, another dollar. The abandoned factory also has eggs. I haven't cleared the abandoned factory in a very long time. So let's check it out. So if you want to get a mannequin, it looks like you have to get 100 eggs now. Because you can get the mannequin on the 50th and 100th opening. Like you'll get a guaranteed mannequin. And to open one box, you need two eggs. So you need at least 100 eggs to get this guaranteed mannequin. Can you get all of those 100 eggs? The event will last for five more days and eight hours. So you need like what? About 20 eggs per day in order to get a guaranteed mannequin. Is that possible? I have no idea. I guess that's too early to tell, but you will have to clear a lot of locations. So you got to get ready to use some weapons if you want to get that mannequin, obviously. Okay, so we got a lot of zombies here. Does it say how many eggs we can get here? Collect Easter eggs. It says only one. Oh, and then we can go down the basement. So it even says how many eggs we can find here. Oh, get over here. Help me. Okay, so there's this dude. So we're also getting some sort of events. Thank you. I don't want to collect these eggs anymore. I'd rather just give them to you. And, okay, can I get them, please? Or do you just eliminate yourself from this competition and that's it? That's how you give those eggs to me. Thanks, homie. <laughs> I guess that's it. Let's get those eggs. So maybe every time you go to a new location, you'll get, like, some sort of a mini event. I like that. For sure, this event is already better than the Leprechaun's Lock event. It does have a bit more content than usual. And I do see one egg, and I am going to get it. So let's deal with this guy. Let's collect some more eggs. So we've gotten just six eggs now, plus two eggs before that. So that's $8. I think it's a bit more fun to think of these eggs <laughs> as dollars. Let's open the valve. Let's fix this thing. So I've looted the first floor. Let's go down into the basement and let's see what we can find here. It says that we can find two more eggs here. So we can find three eggs in the abandoned factory. Okay, there we go. I already see one egg over there. I'm gonna get one more egg or one more dollar. Another day, another dollar. So you get three eggs here, three eggs from the motel. That's already six eggs. But if you need 20 eggs a day, not every location resets every day. But that's again, if you want to get a guaranteed mannequin. So it's cool to have a guaranteed mannequin, but in my opinion, it doesn't affect the gameplay. So yeah, best of luck to those that want to get it. There we go. We found one more egg. That's going to be our eighth egg. Once we collect more eggs, we're going to open a bunch of things at the same time. Let's drop the generator here. So we've just cleared the abandoned factory. We've gotten this one extra antenna. That antenna might be useful to upgrade the settlement later on. I haven't been at the highway yet, so let's go to the highway and let's see what this place has to offer. How many eggs we can get here? Check this out. Easter eggs everywhere. It just says go to the highway. So the game explains where to go. You don't have to follow anything blindly here. I've got plenty of Easter eggs now. Shall we make an exchange? Give them and claim an Easter egg. Ooh, I have five carrots. I have five carrots in the inbox. I got them. Let's give those five carrots to this dude. Wait, I gave you the carrots. Take them. It's a pleasure working with you, pal. That's it? So technically those five eggs were one dollar. <laughs> Hell yeah, I've just gotten a free egg. Thanks, homie. I don't think we'll be getting that egg all the time for free, but I'll take it. Now we need to collect three eggs here. Should be easy peasy. Let's get a katana. So I think the highway is going to be one of the easier locations to get three eggs. Maybe even easier than the motel. The motel is actually very easy, but this place also should be quite easy. All right, let's get another egg. That will be our 10th egg. 
Well, actually 12th egg because we've already gotten some eggs before that. We've already opened up a crate, but you got the point. So where do I find more eggs here? It's a very open location, yet I don't see here a single egg. Well, I did find one egg. Where are the other ones though? Well, we are at this location. I might as well get another spark plug. Let's get some more air filters. Let's take out the engine because why not? Sometimes raiders can ask you to find two engines so you can find one guaranteed engine in this highway location. So make sure to get it. Oh, there we go. There's another egg. I'm going to grab it. There we go. That's our second egg from this location. There's got to be one more. I bet it's going to be somewhere at the bottom. It's got to be. There we go. There's our third egg from the highway. Oh, there's somebody there. Is it related to the event or not? Oh, no. This is not related to the event. This guy's going to give me nothing. He's just going to stand there in this pickup truck. Okay. Now, let's get our last egg from the highway. We've gotten all the eggs here. Now, welcome to the police department. It looks like here we can find three more eggs. So let's try to get them. If we don't see any eggs inside of that room. Okay, I do see one egg up there inside of the other room. I'm gonna go and get it. Before I get that egg, I wanna loot everything here. There we go, there's one more egg. I see it and I will get it. I don't know, for now, maybe it's not that bad of an event. It looks like if you wanted to, let's say clear the police department or Bunker Alpha or the abandoned factory or whatever other location, you could just do it. And on top of that, you are gonna get some eggs. I think some old locations are getting some more love. Like, for example, the abandoned factory. People rarely clear that abandoned factory. You only need to clear that abandoned factory if you need to get antennas. But if you already have all those antennas, then nobody clears that abandoned factory. So every time I get a new reason to go and clear an old location that doesn't make any sense, it, that always gets my approval. I think we should get events like this a little bit more often, maybe. And by no means I'm saying that, hey, this is a perfect event. I would still prefer some content, but I think this event was done pretty well. When you go to whatever location, it'll literally tell you how many eggs you need to get. So I think that thing is very, very, very useful. Like, nobody should be confused on how to find these eggs. You just go to a location and it says how many eggs you can get here. Everything is simple. Everything is straightforward. And we got another egg. Let's get it. So that's our second egg from the police department. We got 14 eggs, so we can open up seven boxes already. Nice. Okay, and we have a couple of zombies here. And some zombies up there. Where's the egg? I still haven't looted everything at the top. So that egg has to be at the top. Unless there's one egg in this court. There we go. Let's get that egg. So this is our third egg. And now let's try to open up a couple of these boxes. Let's see. So we can get 10 of these boxes and we can get some more stuff. There we go. Let's exchange all of this. So let's see what we're going to get here from opening these seven boxes. Oh, you just open all of them at once. You didn't open them up one by one. Okay, I was ready to open them up like one, one, one. But we've just gotten all of the rewards at once. So we've gotten seven rewards, but we've gotten two grenades. Plus, we've gotten this carrot grenade. Cute on the outside, dangerous on the inside. Throw with caution. Plus, we've gotten 30 more carrots. Interesting. So how many boxes have already opened up? Eight, but it doesn't really keep the count. So we've opened up eight boxes. You need to open up like 10 boxes a day. So I've just entered the transport up, but I've already cleared it last time. So can I get these Easter eggs for free, basically? Oh, you can probably. So that is awesome. Check this out. There's another Easter egg there. So it is absolutely possible to get these eggs without clearing the location first. I was ready to go here and clear this transport hub. I was ready to demolish everybody. I took here enough weapons to kind of clear this location a little bit faster. But it looks like I won't have to do this. I'm just going to get these eggs for free. So I don't see any eggs on the roof. I thought it's going to be on the roof. Well, let's go lower. It looks like there will be those zombies. I usually avoid them, but whatever. I'm getting these eggs for free. I might as well just kill these rats. Zombies. Yeah, sure. Go and put up those shields. Just put them up. Look at this. This zombie doesn't have a shield on and yet I can't shoot it. Sick. That's what I always wanted. Okay, still cannot shoot it. Well, at least I'm going to steal that egg. There we go. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want those free eggs. There we go. That's one more. There we go. Now I can finally shoot this ride zombie. And there we go. The ride zombie is dead. So the transport up doesn't really seem to have a lot of eggs. We're only getting three eggs. You can literally get the same amount of eggs from the motel or the abandoned factory. But hey, if you are planning to clear the transport up anyways, you might as well just get those eggs for free. There we go. That's the second egg. It also looks like to get all of these eggs, maybe not all the time, but sometimes you will have to have that access to the bridge. So you'll have to assemble the bridge at the transport hub. So not a lot of players have the transport hub unlocked. And not a lot of players even have that bridge assembled. There we go. The egg is on the ship. I usually don't kill these zombies because why? They don't really bother me on that ship. But this time we have to kill them in order to get this last egg from the transport hub. Let's get it and let's open up some more rewards. That's it. The task has been completed. Let's go here and let's get two more boxes. One and two more. 
And that's it. We're just gonna get two more rewards. We've gotten a mine and a cold python. And I've almost forgotten to test out this grenade. Hopefully I do not die in this zone from that grenade. That would be stupid if I die and lose all of these items. Why do I have to risk it? Risk it for the biscuit. Let's get the carrot grenade. Does it say how much damage it does? No, it doesn't. Let's get that nade and uh, let's throw it at some sort of a zombie. And I want to know how much damage it does. But these zombies don't have a lot of health. So I'm just going to tap it. Oh my goodness, please do not kill me. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. Whoa, it just exploded. Okay, so it did not kill me. Nice. <laughs> I risked no for the biscuit. The explosion effect was kind of nice. I don't think we have any more carrot grenades though. So I thought we'll be able to get this carrot dispenser for free. But it looks like the only way to get it is to buy it in the store. And that is a little bit sad. I wish that carrot dispenser was here in the bunny's presence. But I, at least from the bunny's presence, you can get a tactical backpack. So good luck with getting your tactical backpacks. Obviously, we all would have preferred some new content but hey they did tease the tungsten they did tease the helicopter so who knows <laughs> who knows maybe one day we're gonna get this helicopter over here and now let me know your thoughts about this new event do you like it or do you hate it and i highly suggest you check out my everything you need to know about last and earth survival video or click here on the second card and you'll go to my project zomboid video or hop over to my channel go to playlists and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and see you in the next one.